This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. So, uh, you have a kid who comes in, and they've got what looks like a hammer finger because they smashed it, let's say, against the door. Okay? So you x-ray the kid, and he has a fracture, uh, and he has a basically subungal hematoma. So there's a specific type of fracture that's really got high complication rates in kids. Uh, does anyone know what type of fracture that is? Kid with a hammer finger, has a hematoma on his finger. It's got a specific eponym and a lot of complications. It's a Seymour fracture. Excellent. Ian for the win. So it's a Seymour fracture. So, um, so in, in adults, right? If we like hit something and we have a hammer finger, what's, what's that hammer finger mean? It means that you have a Volster extensor tendon, right? All we do is splint you, you do absolutely fine. On kids, they actually have a growth plate at the end of their phalanx, right? So oftentimes when a kid smashes it, what will happen is it won't actually break the extensor tendon, it will break their growth plate. And you'll get these subungal hematomas, and what can happen with those is that nail bed can actually migrate into the growth plate, or something else can get into the growth plate, and what that means is that kid's finger or toe will stop growing. Uh, or, when it migrates in there, if it connects with the outside, they're very prone to chronic osteo, um, osteomyelitis. So it's a kind of injury pattern that seems kind of minor when you first look at it. You say, oh, this kid, he's got a little bit of a break there. He's got a su subungal hematoma. That's going to do fine, and you might just splint them. But all those kids should actually be referred to hand. And at hand surgery, they'll oftentimes take off that finger, and they'll do an exploratory surgery, make sure there's nothing in that, in that growth plate. And then oftentimes, if there is, they'd repair it. So again, it's something that all of us should know with kids. It's another way that like kids are different than adults, and another injury pattern that all of us should know about and be cautious of. If you see a kid with a subungal hematoma, and he's got a fr fracture at the end of the finger. Okay? So a Seymour fracture. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.